Hi, it's Jill from Jelly Bean Studio. I hope you're well. And today I am working in my composition notebook junk journal on some fun folk art flowers. So I hope you can come along and join in and journal with me. Today there's a lot of simple supplies, mostly markers, and yeah, just a lot of ideas to play around with. So I hope you grab a cup of whatever you enjoy. Actually, this morning for me, it's tea. <laughs> um, I also want to say I've been working mostly on this on September 10th, but I realize I am posting on September 11th. So I just want to take a heartfelt moment for, for that important day in our history and just, yeah, feel the gratitude and all the sacrifice that was given on our behalf. So, oh my goodness. Um, so I'm kind of happy today is about flowers and journaling, which always is, I think, a good way to get out feelings and, and bring joy and yeah, just, um, be for me, it's an important part of my life. So I'm jumping into the first few pages of my new composition notebook, junk journal. I have some hidden journaling, which basically means I have a lot of tuck spots and tags and cards, and I guess you'd say foldables, <laughs> like this one, that my journaling, you don't see my words basically on the page. So I guess I just want to start the video with a tip that if you're a journaler who, you know, you want to keep your feelings kind of um, tucked away or not everything seen on the page, it's a really fun thing to do is add little envelopes and tags and tuck spots that you can journal whatever you want about your week and days and just have them um, tucked away. <laughs> so now I'm moving on to the next pages, which to me are kind of like supply haul pages, I guess. Look at these adorable file folders. I found them at Walmart and I just purchased from Cat Hand's Etsy shop her little cute little cuppa zine and I'm really psyched about um, hopefully making that soon. I started to cut it out. Oh yeah, there's another hidden journaling spot, a little folded note card. And then back to the haul thing, I... Um, picked up some Sharpie markers. They're called Mystic Gems, and I swatched them out a little bit. I've been doing a lot of flowers lately, and this is really what today's session is all about. <laughs> so these are some folk art flowers I did on tracing paper and deli paper. I think they work out really great on either kinds of paper. I tucked in a little ribbon here. I have a lot of paper in this journal. And uh, yeah, I'm setting up for next week as well. So grab a cup of whatever you enjoy because I would love if you make some flowers with me today. <laughs> Very simple supplies. Now, whatever sort of paper you have, I just wanted to go for that, I don't know, a different feel, that more translucent paper. But clearly you can see here, the deli paper is more opaque and obviously tracing paper, <laughs> you can see through it a bit. So there's the comparison. So you can see the two types of paper. Both obviously have a slicker surface. And this one is done on deli paper on the background there that I actually glued to the note page. And then this tip in, is done in the tracing paper. So I grabbed a bunch of markers and, and played around with very simple shapes. I'm gonna take you through a few step by step. So I'm gonna start in with the deli paper. Now, I found that the Posca pens I'm using can leak through a little bit if you, um, if you have a lot of pressure. They also can rip the deli paper. So my tip to you is light pressure if you can. Don't kind of don't overwork the paper. 
Also, you probably notice I speed my videos up a bit, so yeah, that will be with a lot of the coloring. The next tip is be patient, and I definitely wasn't in a lot of this process, <laughs> but let your Posca paint markers dry because your colors will definitely run. And I'm gonna show you a bunch of different kinds of markers. You don't have to have Posca markers. You can, you can use a bunch of, of different brands. So these are the ones I did on deli paper. And I think they're kind of sweet. I made a deli paper pocket on the left-hand side. And I really just kind of think it's a cute way to, I don't know, put things into your journal, tuck them in the front, and yeah, I'm I'm loving that. Um, sorry, my phone went off if you heard a buzz there. The next thing is uh, tracing paper. So I have these very juicy Ecoline markers. Again, the Pasca and the Ecoline is what I wanna say, are a little bit on the higher end of marker. Um, if you're, you know, they're more in the art supplies, I guess, <laughs> is what I want to say. But I'm going to show you the Crayola ones that are really inexpensive. You can buy them by, here they are. Um, what are these called? The Crayola, I think they're super tips. And you can buy these literally, yeah, Crayola super tips. You can buy these literally by the box bucket full <laughs> and very inexpensive and look I th I think they work great too so back to the folk art designs and shapes I'm using a really just big floppy petal shape five or six petals and then I'm just going to add layers and outlining as I go so as I played around with this I did a lot of these actually out on my patio, just sitting and it was a beautiful night last night. And I just decided to play with the different markers and then see if they, if they played well together. <laughs> and they do. So I added the Posca paint pens because they are more opaque. Again, I'm speeding up as you can tell and did these, I guess you'd say crescent moon shapes to kind of make a little bit more of a graphic look to the petals. And then you can grab a Sharpie or whatever permanent markers that you have around and just trace them. So I think my thoughts were that obviously folk art Flowers are very simple. You want a simple design. And you can just do very fun geometric shapes to kind of make petal-ish looking things. <laughs> Circles, crescent moons, very simple lines. And then it's just a matter of outlining your design. So yeah, I when um, my husband saw me doing this, he said, are you drawing donuts? <laughs> so they're kind of donut shaped. They could be. And I love this Posca paint pen, but for whatever reason, this is a really runny one and very juicy. And you might be able to see, I don't know, it's not that easy to see, but the Ecoline marker, it kind of sops up some of that ink. So the dots that I just made kind of have a little bit of a gold, gold tint to them, I guess. Yeah, so leaves too. And I just really enjoyed it. I feel it's probably the cousin, so to speak, to coloring. <laughs> if you like to do coloring book pages, it felt very fun to 
simply draw and then combine colors. Just see if I didn't like it, it didn't matter. I cut out the scrap of deli paper and, and moved on. But for the most part, the only mistake I think I really made was being impatient and not letting, especially the Posca pens dry. I had a couple of them that I wanted to go in with the next color and start outlining and it just all ran together. Now this one is really fun. This is another paint pen I had lying in my stash. It's a Sharpie one and it surprised me. <laughs> it's metallic. So dig through your stash, use what you have. I ordered the deli paper on Amazon and I think, I think it's a pack of 500. I should not run out of deli paper in my crafting lifetime. <laughs> and the tracing paper, we have a really great art store near us called Jerry's Artorama. I love it. And I picked up tracing paper there, but I'm sure that's readily available too. So a few more dots for fun. And this is the Crayola Super Tip Flower. Again, the Posca paint is really liking the other marker, the marker I wanna say, the Crayola, I can't say it. <laughs> you know what I mean, the Crayola ones. And so the pink is kinda of going through. I, I'm fine with that, I like it. So have fun with your markers. I hope you'll try this technique. It makes fun tip-ins or elements on your page. Very simple and easy to do. And you can make pockets too out of your deli paper or tracing paper. Oh yeah, and I have one more little thing. This little glue book collage book I've been working in I added some right to, I did some doodling on this background, added a few scraps of things, and yeah, made another little index card there. And here we go, those are the ones we made today. So I hope you give it a try. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel. Thank you so much for watching.